Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutation, all sins, Sir Achim. They wrote there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out the Samoth, which is the truth of the scriptures. Of course, peace and salutation, all sins, Sir Achim. Of course, that are listening and learning. Well, Aquathium, that are listening and learning in all sincerity. Brother Mapo, Great Millstone, Play Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, coming again with another lesson due to Rechak Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. This is off of um, express.co.uk, and it reads, River turns blood just 48 hours before blood or after Slach, blood moon, as locals fear Judgment Day. It reads, locals have told of their fear that Judgment Day was arriving after the waters of the rivers turned blood red overnight. The incident occurred in the Kesha River in the village of Krasno in western Russia. Nizhny Novgorod region. Image Images of the phenomenon were posted online by local residents and show waters of the rivers turning are running deep red. Now, I've done a lesson pre well, some previous lesson um, pretty recently about some of these big biblical pet plagues which which written occurring here in the last days. Which the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai said he would do. The particular lesson I was uh, going in beforehand was about these um, different flying insects, which, you know, during the time of Matazarium or Egypt, when they eat the, the um, Israelites before they were let out of uh, slit bondage, you know, the Lord had, you know, brought different plagues upon the land. And in this day and age, the Lord, who the Most High, whose his name is Yahweh, is sending back his son, Yahweh Shai, who the war ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their pure names in the Lashwan Kurash in the Hebrew. They're going to have all of these plagues occur all over again. And of course, it's going to be worse than you ever seen before. And these are tokens or signs of, the, of course, of his coming and such. And that's why it, it means this Bible is also very true. And that's for the elect of Yashala, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are allotted for salvation. Because we know that two-thirds are going to be cut off in these coming calamities and such. Because not of all Israel is of, of Israel. Alright, there's going to be great catastrophes that's going to occur. Now, I'm just going to get into this, uh, scripture, because this, of course, uh, you know, cast it out of uh, fear of, uh, as what it says, Mashapat Yawam, uh, our judgment day, which I'm going to start with my first scripture, which is going to be the book of Amos 18. And, and or 5 and 18 slach, yeah. It says, Woe, which means destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So, you know, the day of the Lord is going to be a very dreadful day. The time when Yahweh Shai comes back. It's going to be a very terrible time, okay? I mean, I believe as is written, um, it written uh, something of the nature of um, a fire not being uh, already being kindled, you know, upon his return, roughly paraphrasing. So there's going to be a lot of death and destruction, you know, uh, in the, before Yahweh Shai comes back, and of course upon his return. There's going to be a plenty of destruction as is written. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Now, speaking of this actual occurrence 
of these rivers turn into to um to to bl blood or red this occurred in a, in a before so i'm going to go into that real quick i got to go into the book of exodus the seventh chapter let me retrieve it give me one moment actually actually i have it up already so this is uh the book of exodus the seventh chapter now i'm going to go down to about the i got it here at the 17th verse all right but i'm i'm going to start a bit ahead it says here exodus 7 and uh i'll just start here in 4 or actually in 3 it says and i will harden pharaoh's heart meaning his mind and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt, which is that's uh, Mizraim or Matazarium, which that was a dark race of people that ruled over the Israelites. They were Hemetic, or from the tribe of uh, the lineage of Ham, which means hot. One of the sons of Ham is is a uh, is a uh, Matazarium, and that's where he was in bondage. It says, "But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that I may." Lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, so that's the Lord's people, out of the land of Egypt by great judgments. And of course, in this time, the, the, the modern day Egyptians are the Edomites. Whom the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked, and whom they refuse to let us go, or to have any mercy upon us. So called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. Reading on, it says, And the Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh when I stretch forth my hand upon uh, Matazarium and bring out the children of Israel from among them. Let's fast forward. This is the book of Second Edris, fifteen, and I'll start at the top. It says, uh, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth," said the Lord, "and I will cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." So the the, the words that are written in the Bible are are believable. And it's all a moth. Simple as that. You know, what you, can, you can count on these things. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Shem is bound by his word. Now going down to um, the, uh, this uh, next verse. Which it will shall be, uh, let's see, I think it's... Uh, This is book of uh, Second Edris, fifteen and and six. All right, I can start here at five. It says, "Behold," said the Lord, "I will bring plagues, which mean curses, upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So call Arataza, all of the earth, all of the land." And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore said the Lord. I will hold my tongue no more. As touching their wickedness. Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them. In those things. In which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold the innocent. And righteous blood cried unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. I mean that's. Uh, you know the souls of the elect. You know who of course cry out of all of the abominations that are done therein. 
It says, And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people, which are the Israelites, is led as flock to slaughter. And I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt, which that's, that's here in America. Of course, uh, this is uh, spiritually Sodom in Egypt. You can read that in Revelations. I believe, uh, what's that, 11 and 8, if I'm not mistaken. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Okay, which is the point. And smite Egypt with plagues, curses as before, and I will destroy all the land thereof. It says, And Egypt shall mourn, the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague of punishment that Yahweh Shem Shai, the Most High, shall bring upon it. Now we're going to go into one of those plagues that, that was plagued um, before, which I'm reading right now in the book of Exodus. It says here, um, I'm going to go down. This is, of course, speaking of the different miracles, uh, powers that spiritual power is given unto Malak, Masha, Moses. Uh, and, of course, he had Aaron as well. His brother But it anyway it goes here It says Verse 11 I'm going to go here Start here It says Then Pharaoh Also called the wise men And all the sorcerers Now the uh, Magicians Of Matazarium They also did In like matter With their Enchantments For they cast down Every man his rod And they became serpents But Aaron Aaron's rod Swallowed up their rods so of course they had spiritual power, all right. Um, being, you know, uh, you had of course uh, Masha, Aaron, you know, having spiritual power from Yahweh Shem Shai on the right hand side. Then you had these different, um, you know, these uh, these uh, Hamites of you know, the uh, lineage of uh, or the house of of Matsazarium. All right, they had power on the left hand side. They had different sorcerers they were doing sorceries they were doing. But anyway, it says and he hardened heart Pharaoh's heart, his mind, and he heart heart cannot he didn't listen unto them. And said Yahweh had had said and Yahweh said unto Masha or Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened and he refuses to let the people go. And that's right now. You know, so-called white man don't want to let us go. He wants us to just be in subjection forever, especially under this uh, system. And he's going to show that with his RFID microchip and his Mark of the Beast. You know, it's our uh, last chance to try to uh, regain the birthright, which is not for him anyway. He already sold it. Esau is a so-called white man, if you don't know. He's Edom. Read Genesis, 25th chapter. Read Genesis the 36th chapter. But anyway, going on, it says, And thou shalt say unto him, Lord, power of Hebrews has sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, here throw thou wouldest not hear. You know, and that's the main reason why we need to get delivered, so we can serve Yahweh by Shemuel of Shai in all truth and sincerity, you know, because we're being oppressed. Now, uh, going on to the, the main point, it says, Exodus seven seventeen. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, in this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, it says I am Yahweh. Behold, I will smite the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink and the Egyptians shall loathe or hate to drink the water of the river. And it says, And Yahweh spake unto Masha and say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and stretch out thine hand upon the waters of, of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that they may be blood through 
Oh, all the land of Egypt, Matazarium and Mizraim, right? Both in the vessels of wood and the vessels of stone. And Masha and Aaron did so as Yahweh commanded, and he lifted up his rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Now, I mean, you he see here in the article, in the, in the image, you know, these uh, rivers, ponds and such, uh, you know, these bodies of waters are being turned into blood. Okay? It says local authorities were urging frightened villagers to calm, to remain calm, and they promised to find out the cause of the weird phenomenon, in which most people don't understand it because they're not spiritual. But I'll give you the understanding here. The Lord already spoke this in days up. You know the things that are written for time were written for our learning. So if you don't have understanding of this book, you don't know what what's going to go happen. Simple as that. It says, uh, officials are asking residents to refrain from swimming or fishing in the river or drinking the red water. According to the reports, a group of scientists are on their way to the village to examine the water. It says, ecologist Ashat Yamov said, we can only guess what could have caused the phenomenon so far. That's just speculation. But, I mean, if you read the Bible, you can clearly see what is most high that's doing this stuff. All right. His power. It could have been caused by a chemical or microorganism or something else. The water needs to be examined to know for sure. One internet user, Alina Shergun, said, I don't we're witnessing the apocalypse, but this water really looks like blood horror. Now, I mean, she, you know, this is another devil, all right? And now apocalypse... It means uh, reveal. Okay, when you go into the, the understanding, as uh, you have it here, a, a pole means uh, un, and you have Kalputin means to cover. All right, so you have the uncovering or reveal. As the book of Revelations, or Revelation is uh, right there. Yeah, if you have that, uh, you say that. Uh, the Vulgate Bible, right? Simple as that. It's the end. It's the, it's the end, you know? So, you know, we're at the end and all these different things are occurring right here, here before your eyes in the latter days. Now, let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 135, and I'm going to start at 4. I can start here at 3. It says, Praise Yahweh. For Yahweh is good. Sing praises unto his name for his pleasant. For Yahweh had chosen Yaquab or Jacob unto himself. Yes, that's Israel. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know Yahweh is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. What's so, which all the other gods are not by idols? It says, whatsoever the Lord pleased that he did, that did he in heaven and in earth and the seas and all deep places. Here's the point. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of his treasures. Who, who smote the firstborn of Matazarium or Egypt, both man and beast. This is the point. Who sent tokens and wonders into the midst of of the old Matsazarium or Egypt um, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. And I mean, the Lord is doing this right before your eyes. And I mean, if you foolishly can don't hearken, you know, you're just going to get destroyed in the midst of this, you know. But anyway, uh, this is, uh, and that's if you're an Israelite, you know, all the heathen going to get destroyed. Two thirds of the Israelites going to get destroyed. Only elects going to get coming out. But this is uh, this book of Sirach 7 and 16. It says, Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Which, I mean, you know, if you go read the book of Habakkuk, we know that, um, you know, these different uh, prophecies and such, they will not tarry and such. 
You know, we got to just wait for it. Okay, so it says, humble thyself greatly for vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. And that's going to be nuclear destruction and death. Simple as that. So with that, I'm going to close out and say, call him la yahal by shim al-shai by shim al-shai by shim al-shai and double honor for the elders of the apostles that great millstone. Peace and sight, chasing all sins, shrachim. They're out there risking their lives and freedom to bring out the Samoth, which is the truth of the Bible. As it is read, read here, river turns blood red. Just 48 hours after blood moon as locals fear judgment day. We know that's uh, just right on us. Shalom.